Hi everybody, Ralph here. Today we want to document the building of a miniature number four bench plane. Which turned out like this. The first thing that we did was find a full scale plane so that we could get copy and transfer dimensions of all sorts in every place. The first step in the procedure was to build the frog. The frog is a very complicated piece. This was fabricated of sheet stuck brass, cut, fit, soldered piece by piece very painstakingly and difficult to do. Complicated piece, drilled appropriately as needed, tapped as needed, and the result is a frog. In the event that we wanted to build more than one, we used this frog to build rubber mold, which yielded wax patterns, as many as we might need, which were put into a tree very much like this, three of them actually, and then placed on a cup with a vessel around it and plaster investment poured into it. After it solidified, it was placed in an oven and the wax was burnt out, leaving a mold very much like this. The cavity in the form of three frogs. After it solidified, we poured molten silver, which chose silver for this project, into the cavity. And when it cooled, solidified, we broke the mold open and out came some sterling silver frogs which we then cut, filed, buffed, polished to use in the plane. The body was fabricated of flat stock sheet brass, right side, left side, soldered, silver soldered together to form a body very much like this, into which the frog was nestled and bolted on. We also cast other parts to complete the plane. The stirrup, which with the thumb wheel works the plane up and down. Lever caps, we had four of them here, and the little levers that operated. After considerable filing, buffing, and polishing, the plane resulted. The wood components were made of ebony, the knob, and tote. In the original, they may have been made of rosewood, but we took artistic freedom and made, made them of ebony to complement the sterling silver body. And it works. It functions just like the full scale one. We lift up the lever, lever cap sli slides off, the blade and chip breaker slide off as well and can be replaced. And of course, it works. And there you have it. A miniature number four 
sterling silver wood plane. This is Ralph saying thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.